is the G37, 370Z, whatever, VQ worth it in the year 2024? Let's talk about it. I think G37s, you get a lot of car for the price. I bought this car actually at like the peak of the used car market for around $9,500, had 110,000 miles, and was completely stuck. Um, I, I'm a huge advocate of never buying a modified car. Never do it. As much as you can avoid it, do not buy someone else's modified car. The things that you get, this is a great car for that price. It is a little outdated in some areas with interior and technology, so there's definitely some cars that have some newer and uh, better technology for that $10,000, which is why we'll also get into the interior of this car. So my interior is actually mainly stock. Um, aftermarket steering wheel cover is really the only thing. This is how it looks. It's gonna always be leather. Back seats, I will say if you're hauling people, those back seats, uh, you do not have a lot of headroom, but quality is all right you know it's still a nissan nissan's not really known for their good interiors i think it definitely looks good i kind of like it looks kind of like a cockpit with the way this center console so high um i do like the gauges um technology wise you know i do have the base model so i've got you know a few buttons that don't really do much got those poverty buttons um only heated seats. Uh, I have no navigation or anything in this car. This, since this is the base as well. The later models, 2013, they might they may have navigation. They may have cool ventilated seats. You know, this is 2008. Um, I can't complain for 2008. I didn't expect a crazy good interior or technology with the car, but honestly, for the price of you know eight ten thousand dollars, I I really can't complain. One of the main things you're curious about is probably going to be performance. And as you can hear. G37, I think, is a great car for performance. Stock from factory, G37s come with 330 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. That is definitely not a small number. It's definitely not a slow car by any means, especially after you tune it and do some things to it. These are not slow cars. I think a lot of people get caught up with comparing things to the V8s, you know, Mustangs, Challengers, Camaros, and all that, but for the money that you're spending, you're getting a good car with a decent amount of power. It's honestly hard to find a car that's not going to immediately break down, can, you know, get this much power reliably. So the G37 is a little um, confusing because from a daily standpoint, I think this car is extremely reliable. I have had this car for about two years now. I have literally had almost no problems with day-to-day uh, -day things. You know, I've kept up with my oil changes. I do everything I need to. And literally the worst thing that's happened to my car really is like a coil pack went out. I will say, as I've mentioned a million times on this channel, the gallery gaskets. We all know, especially if you own a VQ, you know, the gallery gasket is a huge issue where any car from the years, from the first year produced, at my year 2008 to 2013, I think they fixed it in part of 2013, can cause your car to not be getting an, a sufficient amount of oil, therefore leading your car to blow up. So definitely not a good thing. They suggest getting it done after 130,000 miles. I'm at 133,000 miles. I haven't had a problem. Possible you may never get that problem on your car. I think day to day, extremely reliable car, but there is, you know, that gallery gasket issue to um, consider, especially with how expensive that can be. Now, another thing, if you're looking to get a G37 uh, in 2024, you're most likely going to be modifying it. So then that's going to come down to aftermarket support. There is a lot of aftermarket support from tunability to modifications, you know, exhaust, headlights, literally anything for this car. Um, if you're wanting to do it, you could probably find it. So many parts for this car. There's so many people out there that tune these cars that just only tune these. You know, my my personal tuner, he he knows what he's doing with these cars. These engines, there's, there were so many produced. There's just such an abundance of these. So there is so much stuff out there. Now, another one of the most important factors is gonna be simply styling, um, how this car looks. Personally, I love the way this car looks. I think, especially for this being a 2008, looks extremely good. Now, this is an almost 15 year body design. And 
I think you could say that this just completely holds up today. I think this is a pretty timeless design, very smooth, not too angular. A lot of different front bumpers and stuff. Fart cam. But yeah, simple, clean. I think it looks beautiful, especially when it's lowered like this. Oh my God. Very good looking car. Now, probably one of the biggest downfalls of this car is actually gonna be the community itself. Um, unfortunately, this car does not is not known uh, for the best uh, things. It is known as the takeover car. It's known for being a trumpet with the sound, which is unfortunate, but in the end, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm my own person with my car. I'm not trying to rice this thing out. I'm not one of the people that's going to the takeover. So it's really how you go about it. You know, they do have a bad name, but who cares? I don't care. I'm not, I'm not one that gives into the bad names. I try to make my name for myself with my car. So really, if you're not getting a car because of the community that you, of you think, then I think it's kind of, who cares? It doesn't matter. D get it if you like it. I will say another downfall of this car um, is going to be the gas mileage. Uh, you're not going to get good gas mileage in these cars, especially if you're not on the highway. These are okay on the highway. You might get like 25-ish, but um, me personally, right now I'm running E85. My car is very modified, so I'm running E85. Um, I get about 115, 120 miles on a full tank of gas. When I was running 93 in a tune, um, I was getting about 210 miles per gallon. That's with driving it pretty hard. That's not a lot of highway miles. So I will say it's a little bit better in, than my case, but these cars are not known for having good gas mileage. It's definitely something to note. Um, it can get pretty expensive. I fill up at least once a week for sure, especially now that I'm on E85. It could be twice a week easily. So definitely not the best uh, gas mileage on these cars, but yet again, if you're looking for a G37 in 2024, you really shouldn't be looking for good gas mileage. Um, you're probably looking to modify it and get it for fun. In the end, is it worth it? Yes, 1000%. Like any car, there's gonna be things to deter you from it. But in the end, this car, just from reliability to performance to just pure amount of fun that I've had in this thing, there is no reason that you shouldn't not want a VQ of some sort. 370Z, G37, G35s, 350Zs. They are just simple and fun cars that have good performance and they're just fun. It's just a fun car. It's fun to modify. Everything with these is just fun. This car has really been my first experience for everything and I just, I can't, I couldn't be any more grateful for it. This is everything I could ever ask for in a car and really just look at it. I mean, it speaks for itself. It looks so good, performs well, decently reliable. And I feel like for a car in 2024, what more could you ask for? I don't care that the gas mileage isn't the best. It's fun and I love it. And that's why you should get one. And that's why it is worth it. If you're considering buying one, check out some of my other videos. That might determine it for you too. I've got a ton of other videos of things I've done to this car. Um, I've made 340 wheel horsepower in this car. There's a video on that. That goes with that performance there. But um, yeah, check those out. Comment your ideas on what you think of the VQ. If you don't have one, if you're just curious, you know, comment what you think about it. Um, you know, like the video, subscribe. That's it for this one. I should have more soon. I love you, bye.